Welcome to another video of Canoe Diva. Today I'd like to show you a feature um, that uh, might help you quite a lot in, in uh, testing your issues. It's the service and ID scanner. Um, this feature can be used to find data identifiers or sub-functions that are implemented in the ECU but should not. So, for example, as a supplier you got project for different OEMs and you provide uh, some identifiers for OEM A and some other identifiers for OEM B and you don't want to mix uh, those two up in, in, in one software. So this function can help you to make sure that really what is defined in your CDD file is supported in your ECU and not more. So this means when we look into the CDD file, all those data identifiers that are defined here, they should be in the ECU implemented and all others like uh, F156 uh, for example sh for, uh, should not be uh, responded by the ECU or it should be rejected by the ECU. So what the service and ID scanner does, it uh, goes through all the possible data identifiers that are possible by the protocol and checks if they are responded correctly with a negative response, so saying this data identifier should not be supported. So it's uh, um, something like a negative image of your ECU that is uh, tested here. So you activate uh, that function here by going to undefined services, can services, identifiers and sub-functions. You can configure here what kind of NRCs you expect for uh, in the different cases. So this is according, the preset is according to the UDS standard, so this should be fine for m most of you are already out of the box. And uh, in addition to that, you can um, configure some ranges uh, that you want to exclude from uh, being tested. So for example, if you maybe do not have a OBD range issue, or if you have an OBD range issue, you, then you may exclude that range because maybe the OBD services are not uh, defined in, in your CDD file or in your diagnostic specification. So by that, so OBD ranges from uh, 1 to A. Um, so if you want to exclude that, you enter that here. If you want to exclude other ranges, so for example, data identifier ranges, uh, you can do it like that. So just giving the signature. Um, like that. So uh, this means that all identifiers that are above 1000 here uh, will not be checked by, by this test. So and that's it, it here in Diva. You go on generate. So you then go into Canoe and start a test in Canoe. So a service ID scanner is always last because it really takes a while to run it. You see here it's going through all the sub-functions for service 10 and after that it will start with uh, service 11 and so on. Maybe it would be good to uh, run the test after your work is finished and you check it the next day. Um, not sure if your boss is happy if you're doing that uh, during your work. Uh, anyway, we have a test report now. This shows you the scan services uh, together with the trace uh, of all the services you wanted to, uh, to test. So as you might remember, we have excluded some ranges like 0 to A. So those first service identifiers are not tested. And uh, then we have ranges like here for service 10, uh, where we did test uh, uh, sub-functions. You see that in the trace, checking 0, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all the undefined services. And we're doing that uh, for all the undefined services. And uh, Diva always makes sure that the ECU, before the services uh, started, is in a, a meaningful uh, precondition for just the kind of service that is tested. So here we are at service 22. We did exclude uh, some, uh, uh, some data identifiers for service 22. But as you see here, we did find some IDs like uh, 0F2, which are responded by the ECU, but which should not be responded as they 
we are not defined in the CDD file. Okay, that's it. I hope this helps you to make sure that only those data identifiers and subfunction are supported by USU that are really also defined in your CDD file. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. See you next time.